All right, what's going on guys? Kosho here, Lead FTS. Part of this collaboration uh, is me benching. And if you guys have been following the last uh, couple of videos, you saw me fail 315 at the number I keep getting stuck on, which is 13. So instead of putting the time in to get stronger and doing all the things I promote to you guys, I just decided that I'm gonna cheat the system. <laughs> We're gonna throw on a bench shirt. So <laughs> I'm officially gonna be a geared lifter. Yeah, your comment section is gonna blow up from this now. Joe's using gear, all right? No surprise there, here we go. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's do it, guys. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, typically, guys, I'm a pretty narrow bencher, but just because I don't... It's gotta be wire for the shirt? Yeah, hell yeah, that's way too close. And you're gonna, for the shirt, you're gonna have to at least be, all right. Let's say ring finger at, le at least. Cool, talk about getting me out of my comfort zone. Here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, right now you're about here though, right? Uh, actually, probably a little bit more. <laughs> you're being Inclusive. generous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Show me, you don't bench, but just show me where it is. All right, so if you went thumb away, where's that? Okay, so let's try to just get pinky. pinky that here. way it's not that rad. It's radical, but it's not that much. Okay. All right. Mm. Like a more extreme version of what I was doing. Much more extreme. <laughs> when Dave tells you to do something, you do it. You don't argue. You do it. <laughs> Man, I, now I kind of wonder how much I can bench, but do that. Pinky. <clears throat> so Sam, tell us about gear lifting. Why do people lift gear? Because it's kind of awesome. No, I uh, gear lifting is something. Actually, this past weekend, I was pretty sure for, right? for the first time. Okay. And it's, I compare it to. Do you, do you like cars? Yeah. You, you know how like people tinker with cars mm -hmm. and they get better performance. Yep. It adds a variability to powerlifting that isn't there with raw lifting. Okay. Right? There is tinkering involved with the equipment you use, the tightness, the tension, the positioning, and it hmm. does have this almost like I keep saying tinkering, but that's really what it is. Like you're like trying a to get the technical component. Yeah. So it, an added technical layer to the lifts that you may not get with raw, like and when you line those things up and it feels good and you smoke a weight that would kill a small human hmm. if it landed on them it's a really cool <laughs> intense feeling it's like an experience it is absolutely the experience is way different there's com there's a huge level of compression like uh, physically on your body there's the mental side of it where it's like wow this weight is something i've mm -hmm. never handled before in my life if i don't do it correctly bad things happen okay so it is it's this rush right it, it, yeah. it's way different but it's something that's well worth doing do you think uh People who do raw lifting for a long time, uh, maybe they are looking for something else to maybe because they're either bored or maybe it's a little monotonous and then this is kind of like an outlet they can get into. Absolutely. I mean, I was just doing strongman, right? Like I wasn't really massive into powerlifting that much prior to this meet. And it gave me a very cool outlet. It gave me another strength sport hmm. to participate in. And it gave me a break from the strongman stuff that I was pounding for weeks and months and years. For sure. Right? Yeah. And it forced me to work on things that I was weak at. Wide stances, mm -hmm. wider grips, right? Mm -hmm. We were just kind of talking about that. Mm -hmm. And it puts you in a position to work on things you're not very good at, which will help with strongman when I get back to it, which will help with all your training. All right. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So here we go, guys. We're hitting this 315 max reps. I'm not gonna make any excuses that I've been traveling nonstop for the past month. I barely ate any food today. And uh, just whatever you can think of. So let's just go. All right. All right, you got me, Sam? Yep. There you go. Come on. Seven, here you go. Eight. Hey. 
Eight. Good. Nine. Good. Ten. Good. Come on. Eleven. Come on. Twelve. Good. Yes! <laughs> got it! Yes! <laughs> Let's go, baby! 13 reps lead FTS! Yes! <laughs> Been missing this place the whole time. That's it, man. That's it. Here's the vibes. That's it. Here's the vibes. Here's the vibes. And the fact that I haven't eaten or drank anything in like a month. Fasting. Fasting is good for muscles. It's good for your brain. Good brains. And muscles. Whoa, I'm pumped, dude. That's awesome, man. Yes, yes, we got it. 13. That's huge. 13, baby. All right, now I say we put on this stupid shirt, on that stupid shirt. and see yeah, how heavy yeah, we can go. Give yourself a minute to breathe. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys. He just broke his PR. Awesome. Massive win. I'm not going to say training here adds reps to your PRs, but For it sure. definitely does. So what we're going to do, bench shirt. Bench shirts are like nothing you've ever felt before or experienced before, and we're just going to play around. We're going to see how it goes. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw him in this, all right, here we go. Here Lock we go. it in, right? I feel like I'm in a straight jacket. So what, there are handles here, right? And the reason that there are handles here is so I can grab them and have him drive his arm farther into the shirt. Oh, God. Oh. There you go. Oh. I should just like start taking people yeah, out. Right. That's the What's bouncer. fat guy in a little <laughs> So he coat. got excited because he did 315? Or 13. I've been stuck at 12. I haven't gotten 13. Uh -huh. But I, I haven't, I mean, I haven't trained my bench. And I did it. So you would have like, hated it. You would have hated uh, it. You did the 13 though, right? I got 13. So why were you stuck at the 12? Uh, I don't know what it was, but I got so it. So just here. a simple change of location is what did it? Well, uh, may, yeah, maybe. Like, because I was doing close. Wow, yeah, you're yeah. a way bigger wimp than I thought you were. Hey, right, hey, hey! Listen, man, this is a, this is after 45 sets of squats, 50,000 pound workload the day before. Probably not sleeping for shit. Probably did. didn't eat that well, right? Matt, cut this out. <laughs> cut this out of the video. They can't. They can't hear so, this. Yeah, yeah. You get. You get it. So, no, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, no, I was. I was stoked. No, you should be because it's a bigger. When I would do the train your ass off things, what I try to tell people is when you blast them the day beforehand. Yeah. So when they come in and bench, I, I already tell them beforehand, look, if you even do anything close to like 90% of any effort, feel happy about it. Yeah. Yeah. What you did yesterday was brutal. So you should, you, you should, I'm not sure it's the wrong word. You could have done 15. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah it's, it's like good and bad. But yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying though, mentally take no, out yeah. the day beforehand. Take out the rest, put back in the tweaks and shoulder warm up or whatever he showed you. There's, there's a couple more there than you think. I'm excited. Everything when I come here is always good stuff. I haven't done anything bad. I mean, yeah. now your fashion is just incredible. Yeah. Yeah, you're on point. Your quads are not as vascular, though, but that's a good thing. I was going to say, I mean, that, that's, <laughs> that's a good thing. It shouldn't thing. be, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Listen to it, something right. <laughs> I'm saying, I busted my ass yesterday. <laughs> so don't describe. No, no, the last time you were out, you were, you were, we were lean. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were dieting. I was so 240, were 245. Yeah, it was, it was about super 60. lean. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Dave, any tips on how he should be thinking about this shirted bench he's about to do? Just lay down and press it to a two board and try not to kill himself and get used to the pressure. Oh, yeah, you need the boobs out. Boobs out. Okay, so, so I'm gonna give you a two board. Okay. okay. And I'm still doing 315, and we're same thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can. Push your belly up. Try to push the board to the bar with your stomach. Push the board to the bar with your stomach more. 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 Press. 
What in the world is that? <laughs> talk, talk about pressure. I'm starting to, I get what you're saying. Right? No, I told you earlier you had to bring your body to the bar as the bar is coming to your body. Oh my gosh. You got to do both. A little bit more weight will help with that, but that's the, way, that's the pressure you got to get used to. I felt like it was going on my, all like, yeah, just like my head's going to blow off. Like you're drowning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. That's, That's awesome. crazy. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> I was just saying, <laughs> does that, yeah, do people do that because of that feeling? <laughs> there are some. There are some. I feel like this, can, this can turn into a weird habit. Yeah. People. I, I, I don't like it, but I'll act like I like it, but I don't like it. Didn't the guy that was in Kill Bill die from that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do you think we should go up to now? 365. Yeah. Dave, yeah, you want to spot a little bit there? Yeah. All right. 365. Now move your grip one finger out. You got the shirt to protect all this, so you'll be fine. It's going to help it open up some. Hold on. All right, start bringing your belly in the back. Get the board belly there. Up, Get the up, board up, to the bar. Up, belly up, belly up. All right, press. <laughs> A couple other things to fix. Um, I'm gonna start. I'll go four or five. Now. Yep. I can see why you need a handler. Yes. Like for all this. It's like a. Like is gear lifting? Are they divas gear lifting? Am I gonna get in trouble for that? Are you a diva? Me personally, <laughs> I a little. I mean, it's like, gee, like how many people do we need to bench press? It's a lot. It's a lot. Especially like there are some lifters that even the bottomed out position, this is too tall, hmm. and you need like side spotters, okay, like, to help them lift it. Wow. Out. So it's like a four man operation. Yeah, it'll, it'll literally be a three man lift off. I guess it makes sense now when you watch all the videos, like the whole crew surrounding somebody. Mm -hmm. There's kind of a purpose to it now. Well, now you can see with like a squat, right? Like yeah. if you're dealing with a thousand pounds plus, there are some people, I mean, the suit that I had is, yeah. is I mean, I'll even give you the footage you can cut in. So yeah, 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 throw it in. Is, I mean, you could easily squat, not you, but like someone that's been practicing over a thousand pounds in it, like a hundred percent, like the, the suit could easily hold on to that. Wow. But it's, it's your technique, it's your yeah. skill, it's your ability to maintain that pressure. But you see what I'm talking about when I say pressure. It's oh my like, gosh! Yeah, it's like, it's like it comes out. It's just like flowing to your face and your upper body. Like you're, you're literally your body's gonna explode. Yeah. Wow, I can imagine what a thousand pounds feels and like. People have like benched a thousand pounds. In That's shirt. crazy. Yeah. Now, so when I put this on my YouTube and Instagram, uh -huh. I'm just gonna say the weight and not say that I'm in any gear, right? Correct. Oh, 100%. <laughs> well, I would even say the total amount of tonnage you've moved. <laughs> Just like the twenty thousand pounds. Twenty thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is how much weight? Uh, this is four fifteen. Four fifteen. Yeah. We're getting close to my actual raw PR, which is four twenty five. Yeah. Well, I mean, if that's the case. And but to be real, like you're still hitting a two board, so it's not even enough weight to come to down. To get even all the way but down. But you know how that was smoother. It was smoother. Yeah. So you need weight on the bar. Now my question is, when you keep saying bring your belly to the bar like what what show like just that arch yeah. arch arch think arch, about arch. expanding here and you can even drop the the bar a little bit lower than you normally would okay so you're not trying to just hit here like right at the the top of your rib cage like you can yeah. hit lower okay try to bring that belly up do you think i could hug you oh my god that's a powerful hug it's very it's like uh, uh, belly belly to belly i was also yeah just thinking about like walking around town tonight with a shirt over this, like a long sleeve, just so this is how I would just walk <laughs> through the place to dinner. Yeah. Now, do you ever belt, uh, bench with a belt on? Uh, only a handful of times. How do you find it? Is it kind of I weird? like it. You do? I like it, yeah, okay. yeah. So what I want you to do is I want you to put a belt on for when you okay. do this, because okay. it's gonna give you that feedback okay. to bring that belly up. I think Dave left, like I think he just wants me to figure it out on my own. Um, well, welcome to my life. So, <laughs> welcome to my life. Yeah, it's like, I think that's the whole thing with Elite FTS is like, he's here when you need him, but then he leaves so you figure it out on your own and comes back and sees if you're alive or if you're dead. Yeah. So if you're here, you've made it. Yeah, 
it's very like Hunger Games. I didn't want to talk about all the dead bodies in the back corner, which yeah. we're not going to pan over to. But you get what I'm saying. All right, so what we got here? 415? 415. 415, baby. Ooh, there you go. <coughs> okay, you wanted me to go to here a little bit yep, wider. A little wider. <coughs> Lock it in. Here you go. There you go. Aiming for here. All right, three, two. Good. Out. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Keep going. Belly up, belly up, belly up. Touch. Press. There it is. Oh my gosh, the pressure, dude. Yeah. Oh, what a rush. Oh gosh, it feels like you're. Yeah, so, oh my gosh. Uh-huh. It's like, you're getting asphyxiated. And people are like, oh, gear's so much easier. Whoa. <laughs> so that's like, that is a build up, man. Right. Holy crap. Well, you see how fast it moves. It moves really fast. The way down is the worst. Yes. Yeah. It's like the opposite. A normal bench, you're like, I got it down, baby. Yeah. The way up, it ain't going up. This is like a whole other thing. So to be totally honest with you, if you could easily do, in my limited knowledge of gear, but from what I'm seeing you do right now, you could easily put 500 pounds on the bar. Well, I definitely want to go up. <laughs> I mean, I'm still kind of a meathead, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, okay. Let's go up. What do you think? My best raw was about 540. Okay. At that time, my best raw was 445. I, it dropped a lot to be able to work the shirt. Huh. That's interesting. Yes, it was very interesting. It was, it was not what I thought. It was what, because Wendler went out and worked with Bill Crawford and ended up benching 675 for a triple when his best bench was 605. And I'm like, no, wait, this is bullshit. You're lying to me. Because it's he literally did a meet, bench yeah. 605, a month later goes down there, triple 675. And it calls me to tell me. And I'm like, you guys, you're all high right now. And you're just, you're, you're eating somewhere and you're just fucking with me. Yeah. There's, there's no way. And he did, man. And it, This is, I mean, this is pretty cool though. It's like, it is like its own experience. It's different. Yeah. It's fun. We got him. Uh, what was the last board? Uh, two board. Go to the blue. Uh, with your shoes. Man pond. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, we got one. There's no different than the other board. Well, it, it, so you have one, you know what it does. Yeah, it compresses yeah. a little bit. Don't worry about bottoming it out. Okay. We'll tell you when to press up. Yeah, you just tell me when to press. Yeah, yeah we'll do it. Almost did a Joe again. <laughs> you always tuck your string in and make sure you're not there hanging you shit here. Lock it in. You go one finger wider this time again. Reset right there. I, I no, that's too wide. This one on the ring. Okay, make your back back tight again. Reset your back. There you go. <clears throat> Three. Two. Squeeze the bar hard with your pinkies. Good. Bring it lower, 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 lower. Now start to bring your belly up. Push your belly up. Up, 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 up. And press out. Take him back to a two board. He can't, there's two things going on. You can't tell that you're pushing that up. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. board, you can kind of, there's two things going on. You can see the board going up to the bottom. You can't bar. tell that's. Yes, but I don't want you looking at the board either. Okay. Right, but you can feel the board with your belly touches, moving up, yeah. right? You can't feel that blue thing moving into that, but you're watching the bar. Okay. You're watching the board, yeah. which creates, as you're, so as you're coming down like this, slightly it's doing a little bit of this. Okay. Which means we're trying to bring this up. As soon as this does this, this has to drop, okay. right? <clears throat> so we're gonna have to focus on the, the lights fuck you up, right? So if you look straight up, the lights are blinding you. You already figured that out. Yeah. So you're looking either that way or you're looking this way. You need to look back this straight way. Back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and take them up or whatever way you want to go. What are you thinking? How much is that? Four, you going four, 65. Yeah. We're going up four, five. We're in the fives? Yep. That's what's up. Okay. I'm excited. We're not even anywhere near the This is awesome. You know what I mean? This is cool to feel that much weight, you know? Yeah. <laughs>
Because you're holding it at the top. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah, even that last time. Good. Pinkies again. Squeeze hard. Strong. Hold, hold, hold. Good. Lower, lower. Belly up, belly, 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 belly. Right there. Now press toward me. Go. Flare, flare, flare. flare. There hold. it is. Good. That one felt the best. Yeah, we'll go up again. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was getting a bloody nose. <laughs> my nose. My nose may bleed. Let me put another uh, quarter on each side for this time, too. Regular two board. He was about in a two board with that. Yeah. Thing, right? yeah. <sighs> now don't lower it until I tell you to. So it's going to come out. It's going to hold, hold, hold. And then I'll say go. And then you'll go down. Okay. One finger more than normal. There you go. That's good. Big air. Hold, hold, go. Start talking and bring the belly up. More, 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 more. And press toward me, toward me, toward me. Turn your elbows toward me. Turn your elbows toward me. There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy crap. I feel like your head's Dude, I feel like, wow. All right, so get up before you die. Oh, God. Right. Now, what was happening there? Because you notice when it started to come back towards you. Yeah. Right? You, first off, you don't want that to happen. You just want to push straight forward. Okay. Right? Now, if it does start happening, the reason I told you to turn your elbows. Yeah. Right? Because say it's here, now it's going this way. So it's either going to handcuff you, hit you in the face, right? Or it's going to hit the rack and you're going to miss. Either way, it's going this way. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So gravity's going to do its thing. Send it like this. But it's, it's falling. Right, so as it's falling, you can either try to push against the fall, which isn't going to work. Yeah. Right. First thing, don't let it fall. Yep. You know, keep it there. But as it's falling and it's going this way, if all you simply do is turn your elbows, yeah. okay, I see. You're staying. The bar's not really going higher, but as it's going this way, you're flaring out to catch the drift. Yeah. Right. So that's why I was saying flare, flare, flare. Uh -huh. Right. That doesn't mean you want to go and always do that. Yeah, yeah. That's the recovery when it's here, because when you're here and it's starting to go back like this and the bars behind your elbow, the only recourse is like a JM press, mm -hmm. right? Which is why I like JM presses <laughs> <laughs> because now of that. I see. <laughs> but you see what happened when it got yeah, there. Yeah. You, at first you're like, oh shit, I'm, you know, I'm done. But then, yeah that finished it through it's just cra crazy like the technique involved with it and like having to understand that when it's happening that's like a whole it's a whole other thing yeah well so there's a lot to it which yeah. is first time anybody's in a shirt more i'll never have them go lower than like a two board or a three board because you're not used to it it's yeah. weird it, it feels tight yeah. so as you're going down you don't understand like how how can i lower a weight but not touch the weight that's a very foreign yeah, concept yeah, yeah. And weightlifting, uh -huh. right? Because yeah, for sure. When does that ever happen? It does it, yeah. Like, well, I'm, I tried to lift a weight, but I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't Stop. lower it. Yeah. You know, I tried to squat because I couldn't get the squat to go down. That's what I said. The hard part is, yeah, the lowering of it. It's yes. It's completely the opposite. Yeah. So now, if you were to continue on this bench shirt journey, you know, okay, there's going to be a lot of pressure in your head. It's going to be tight. You got to get this all set. The shirt's not the best shirt in the whole world, but you kind of have an idea of the feel. The feel of it. Yeah this is a better experience to kind of launch off with that on because you're like damn how much was that that was kind of cool this is a cool <laughs> yeah. thing where if i spent all the time trying to get you to touch and we just stayed here at 315 you'd walk out here frustrated hating this and all of a yeah, sudden, yeah, yeah and still not know at some point the biggest thing i think with this and maybe he can attest because he just went through it is getting used to the pressure because mm -hmm. that pressure to a two board is nothing compared oh, to God. getting it down to your chest no it's ten. Yeah, so I got I got the entry level, like you got an idea of yeah, what feel it what's is. going on. Yeah. Yeah, it was enough weight. Like I could definitely feel the pressure building up. I had to 
have the right technique, right? Yes. Or else things could have went bad real quick. And it's going to say that tomorrow you're going to see, holy crap, that worked the yeah. shit out of your upper back. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. I mean, I think even today we're just talking about pressure and, and just tightness. Like, that's huge. Like, I've, I don't even, how much weight is it? 565. 565. I've never had that in my hands ever. Now, so. the, the other thing, too, just for the video's purposes, is the one that was before this one. You know, I was, I was saying hold, hold, hold. Then you went a little bit beforehand. Yeah. The reason why you want to hold is when you take when you're taking it out now, you're still holding it like this. Mm -hmm. The longer you hold, this starts to happen. The okay. weight in your hands. You get your upper back. It's a little tired, right? Yeah. So it starts to seed itself. Okay. So it seeds itself into the bench pad, which is naga hide and foam. You want that foam to compress. Huh. You see what I'm saying? So. When that foam compresses, yeah. that locks all your upper back gotcha, and stuff gotcha. in. If you're just holding it, but that foam still hasn't compressed and you start to lower, you're in a little bit less stable environment. Hmm. So the lats aren't going to be as bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's crazy. I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's, a little there's, so, that's just, there's so much involved <laughs> with it. You know, we're talking about like compressing the foam on a bench. Like, this is nothing I've ever thought about or experienced before. But, uh, but the gear lifted for you, right? The gear lifted for me, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I knew that. All I'm saying is when I put this on Instagram, I'm just saying that I benched 565, and it was just how it is. Now, if we had a different, if we were on a different bench, we could put reverse bands on it, right, and go like 765, do exactly the same thing, <laughs> put reverse bands and chains, chains? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have enough adjectives. To me, <laughs> what, what did I say? Conjugate, to truly be conjugate, uh -huh. needs five We're not even adjectives. at conjugate level. Yeah, right. Now that I know what an adjective is, I can't <laughs> quit saying it. Right? We're just it's at like the needs five. This <laughs> is a two-board um shit it's a two board shirt two board shirt bench. He, didn't, he didn't have much leg drive no legs band, right? did you notice that i yeah. wasn't using he my wasn't legs. his legs at all that's a strong man thing for sure yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, so I, I don't bench too, like right? i don't bench at all like this is well this... it was actually it wasn't a full it wasn't really a competitive grip so it's, it's right, kind of it like a, close a it's, grip you know it's a tricep grip okay yeah. not close so it's we're getting there close grip that was shirt, a close grip guys? two board no yeah, leg so drive. he had he had ring finger on the smooth yeah we're getting in there. Ring finger on the smooth, regular bench bar. It's not. It's not a bench bar. It's a right. power, power bar. bar. Power yeah. bar. Power bar. Yeah, so we're getting there. There's, there's about five. Okay. It's, not, it's almost conjugate. We're almost com complete to the conjugate training. Almost. Yeah. Nah. But we could change reverse <laughs> bands, bamboo bar. You know, we could have done it with uh, the tsunami bar or the whatever the other one's called. Well. Overall, I thought that was a fantastic experience. It was real cool. Um, I'd rather do that than the squat thing, right? 100%. 100%. Uh, but, yeah, just learning. Out here learning. You guys hopefully are enjoying this video. I've never done anything like this before. I've never benched or held that much weight in my hands ever. Uh, so, very cool. So, thank you so much, uh, Sam, for guiding me through this. Dave, thank you. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, that's all I got for now because... I'm, my my head's a little, <laughs> a little out there right now. I thought I was gonna get a bloody nose. Honestly, yeah, you can see how it happens. Yeah, I can see exactly how that happens. Yep. Um, but yeah, guys, so make sure you're following Sam, following everybody at Elite, Dave, everyone. Uh, they're truly just treating me, uh, you know, like an awesome human being, and that means a lot to me. So, uh, thanks, guys. And where can they find you? Find us at EliteFTS.com. All your training needs, information, knowledge, all the things can be found right there. All right, guys, make sure you're following, and then uh, obviously like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.